are not making generic requests anymore. They're making data-driven requests because we have to change the logarithmic curve that we're on. We see country after country having done that. What it means in the United States is not everyone is doing it. This is really a call to action. When we see others beginning to bend their curves, we can bend ours, but it means everybody has to take that same responsibility as America. When you were up here a, a little bit ago, um, you talked about the curve and what you're seeing. Has the, the curve changed enough at this point? But we have to get out of this. We have to start seeing this. States because many of those states are dead flat. Yes. And so yes. it's, it's there are get, states it's that are be, dead yeah. flat, but you know, every Every, what changes the curve? Those change the curves because it all of a sudden spikes in big face. That means there are a lot of counties that aren't. Um, and we are really, we're excited about those counties and still finding quite flat. And hopefully maybe Sunday or so, or sometime this weekend, you know, the California and Washington are still steady. Um, but we're watching very carefully because we see that you can go from this to this very quickly. And when, this should not be happening any longer. Oh, but again, so I look at the graphs all the time. Yes. And you have many, many yes. flatliners. I call them flatliners. <laughs> I'm amazed at them. And you have a couple that are up. It's hard to blame the flatliners for not doing a good job. The fact is, yes, we compare them to Italy, one place. But we have many places that are yes. really doing great. And I think that's what Deborah meant. She didn't mean all of them, so when you write your story tomorrow, maybe you'll write it correctly. She was talking about one state, and another state is, you know, having a hard time. It's And they're closely associated. And by the way, the people are doing a very good job. But our states, generally speaking, it's like lots of different countries all over. We have many of those countries are doing a phenomenal job. They're really flat. And I think that's what you meant. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak for. But I, I thought that's what I understood she meant. Yeah, please. About that discussion. My first question, though, I'm not completely satisfied on yet, which is, I don't get that intellectual exercise to find out who worked on global. Media. Is that Chris, man's actions have an impact on Chris, science? Chris, no, you there have was to an correct, that, correct that whenever it comes out. Chris, Go ahead. Chris, there was an overwhelming science that the Earth was flat, and there was, a, you know, we get a lot of things wrong in the scientific community. You and I both know that. Yeah, I think Google is uh, really taking advantage of a lot of people, and I think that's a very serious thing, and it's a very serious charge. We hope we're seeing a leveling off from every corner of Earth. Many of those states are dead flat. And it's flat. Um, and we at the center of this movement is a crucial conviction that a nation exists and a different reality exists. Too many of our citizens, a different reality exists. Stones across the landscape, an education system flush with cash, but which leaves our young and beautiful students deprived of all knowledge. To free the earth, to harness the energies to be a ransom payment after all, just like I said. In other words, our president lied to us. He lied to us. You know what? If I don't make it, I wasted a lot of money, time, and energy. That I can tell you. A lot. But I think we're going to win big, guys. Very much. Thank okay. you for coming. Well, the Earth is flattened. The president is isolated in his beliefs here because he's got virtually no support on Capitol Hill on this statement, Jake. It's amazing to watch the White House continue to argue that the Earth is flat. Jeff Zeleny, Manu Raju, thank you so much.